Welcome back to another video. My name is Derek and today we're going to be taking a look at an iPhone 13 Pro. This iPhone 13 Pro has an issue where it's boot looping. There's a lot of things that can cause this. Recently I showed a boot loop that was caused by a faulty power button. Let's dive into this phone and see what's wrong with this one. Says Derek, this iPhone 13 Pro has been water damaged from rainwater entering via broken back glass. Yup, that's definitely broken. The phone boots fine when the Prox sensor is detached. We are looking to have this device fully repaired. We want to make sure there's no board damage, the back glass is repaired, and if possible, Face ID is working. Please let us know once you've looked at the device. Let's take a look at this device. Now it looks like it's already somewhat opened yep so pop the screen off now the water indicators are both red so i'm curious if it was just a little bit of rainwater or if it's something more now the prox is currently not connected like the battery isn't as well so let's go ahead and uh take a look at that prox real quick because i think that that's the first uh thing we need to figure out is what needs to happen with that. Let's take off the three screws in the shield. Let's add some isopropyl alcohol and carefully remove this uh, proximity flex. So normally I would add isopropyl alcohol or something to uh, help remove these sensors. I want to see if I can visibly see the damage. If I add alcohol, it could easily just wash away yeah, any you know sign of corrosion that I'm looking for. And luckily this component is one that's easily replaced without having to worry about losing face ID unlike previous models. Take a look under a microscope, see if we can isolate the issue. All right, so here I can see that we definitely have some signs of corrosion. You can see it kind of coming out from under the proximity sensor right there, and definitely up here in the spot, there's quite a bit of corrosion. Having the proximity sensor corroded like this will definitely cause a boot loop. The proximity sensor on this model you can replace without issues, with Face ID on previous models, you'd have to worry about that. So keep in mind if you're running into a boot loop issue on a previous generation that has Face ID, you'll have to figure out what you need to do on those particular models. Now on this one, I could simply replace the entire proximity sensor. Or if I don't want to wait to order a new one, or if I don't have one on hand, I could simply go and try to fix it. So let's do that. So I'm going to take the uh, soldering iron this isn't on the tip this is just on the shaft and I'm going to heat up the back of the flex and that'll cause the solder to melt and the prox will be able to come away from the flex really easily it only takes about five to maybe ten seconds and there we go now we can see the flex cable has quite a bit of uh, corrosion on it and same here on the proximity sensor so I'm going to take some isopropyl alcohol and a brush and let's try to get as much of that off as we can. I think I have to scrape some of this away because it's pretty pretty stuck on there. So now that I've scraped it away, we'll clean that up with some isopropyl alcohol and my brush. That's looking much better. Let's do the same on the flex cable. See if there's uh, any more damage. Isopropyl alcohol and a brush to clean it up. see it's uh, a little mark here but uh, I think we're gonna be okay add some flux add some solder paste take my iron and let's see if we can freshen up that pad yep it's now taking solder and let's just distribute the solder equally amongst all of the pads there we go let's clean off any of the burnt flux 
some isopropyl alcohol on my brush again. It looks really good. Add some more flux for later. Now let's take our attention over to the prox itself. Add some flux, some more solder paste, and with the soldering iron going around, making sure each one of those pads takes a nice pillow of solder. And then let's just go over each one, even them out until they have this about the same amount of solder um, as each neighbor. There we go, that looks good. All right, we'll clean this up again, getting rid of any of that burnt flux. And now we'll put it on the flux cable, lining it up in the same orientation it was in before. Put it on the soldering iron again, carefully. And within five seconds or so, this will definitely be on. See a little bit of movement there as it pulls down to the flex. And we should be good. So I'll we'll pull the soldering iron away carefully and we'll let it cool down. And now, on, now we can take a look at the side and it's definitely got a good joint. This one's ready to go. All right, now that we've soldered the prox back on after getting rid of that corrosion, Let's see if we still have a boot loop. Let's see if we can get it to boot up just fine with this prox connected, or if we'll have to replace it. All right, we'll connect the display. We'll connect the proximity sensor. Connect up the battery. See if it boots. Plug it in. There we get the Apple logo. Let's see if we can get it to boot up all the way. there we go it's all fixed the phone's coming on no longer boot looping this is just one of the other things that can cause a boot loop there are others if you know of them leave them in the comments below if there's something you'd like to see in a future video let me know as well thanks a ton for watching we'll see you in the next video